There exists a profoundly mysterious place on our planet, and it goes by the name of the Mariana Trench. Chances are, you've heard snippets about it before, perhaps in school, where we were all taught that Everest is the highest point on Earth, and the Mariana Trench, the deepest. However, the majority of people's education stops right there. Few delve into the broader account of how and why this trench, with its unimaginable secrets and peculiar inhabitants, came to be. Situated in the western part of the Pacific Ocean, near the Mariana Islands, from which it draws its name, the Mariana Trench is an immense, V-shaped trough stretching over 1,500 kilometers and plummeting to depths of more than 11,000 meters. To put it into perspective, something as towering as Everest could easily be submerged into this vast and nearly bottomless channel, with over a kilometer of water still separating it from the surface. Now, let's talk about the intriguing inhabitants of this enigmatic trench. For the longest time, the prevailing belief was that emptiness prevailed in such remote and monstrously deep places, rendering life impossible. However, the Soviet ship Vityaz shattered this notion in 1958. At a depth of 7,000 meters, scientists discovered life, not just a smattering, but in substantial numbers. Moreover, it seemed that time and eons had left these creatures unaffected. Alongside various bacteria, invertebrates, and mollusks, colossal unidentified creatures roam the trench to this day, true underwater monsters. In 1960, Jacques Picard, a Swiss researcher, embarked on an expedition to the bottom of this colossal gorge. Assisted by the deepwater bathyscaphe Trieste, he and his partner reached the lowest point of the world's ocean, known as the Challenger Deep, almost 11,000 meters below sea level. Despite a brief 20-minute stay, they observed enough to confidently declare the existence of life at the Mariana Trench's bottom, a revelation that reverberated worldwide. The atmospheric pressure at this depth is 1,100 times higher than our usual sea level, approximately 3 tons per square centimeter. It's a force capable of bending even iron. Astonishingly, the local marine life seems unfazed by these monumental forces. Enormous clams and peculiar fish species, unknown to science, thrive in these harsh conditions. But the intrigue doesn't end with the discovery of life at such depths. Years later, Jacques Picard's logbook was declassified, revealing a spine-chilling entry. About halfway to the trench's bottom, Picard reported encountering a large disc-shaped object accompanying their bathyscaphe. The object maneuvered and seemingly scrutinized them through the porthole. Despite being seen clearly, the object vanished after a few minutes, leaving its nature unknown. Speculation arose, could it be a creature from an unknown underwater civilization, or perhaps a descendant of a more ancient intelligent beast? In the year 1985, aboard the American ship Glomar Challenger, an eerie incident unfolded as the crew meticulously explored the abyssal depths of the Mariana Trench. Employing a 9-meter ball-shaped device dubbed the Hedgehog, they encountered the inexplicable. As the probe descended, peculiar sounds echoed through the underwater expanse. The cables, strained almost to the point of breaking, hinted at something resisting the probe's descent. In a rush, the researchers attempted to retrieve the hedgehog, but an unseen force held it firmly in the depths. For three intense hours, the crew battled this unknown force before finally managing to raise the probe. To their astonishment, the device bore evidence of a harrowing ordeal, bite marks on the plating and torn steel cables, as if it had been in the clutches of an underwater monster. The crew was left shaken, grappling with fear and uncertainty. The official explanation attributed the damage to the platform getting stuck on a rock, but the crew knew better. There was something colossal and immensely powerful lurking at the depth of 11 kilometers. According to the official version, the area of study was similar to previously discovered parts of the trench, covered with various mountains. However, the specific site of the incident was barren, devoid of rocks. Instruments on board should have alerted them to a collision, but nothing of the sort occurred. 
The crew was left with the haunting memory of those unexplained, heartrending sounds. Later, biologists proposed a sensational theory, that a colossal relic from the past, the Megalodon, was responsible for the damage. This monstrous shark, extinct for over a million and a half years, allegedly still roamed the depths of the Mariana Trench. Evidence supporting this claim came in the form of a giant tooth, fittingly sized for the ancient creature. The mystery deepened with subsequent incidents. A Japanese cargo ship experienced a severe blow to its side, seemingly from an invisible force. Another vessel's crew reported witnessing a colossal column of water shooting into the sky, possibly expelled by some unseen sea creature. Most recently, during a scientific expedition, an otherworldly jellyfish was discovered at a depth of about 3,700 meters in an enigmatic area of the trench called the Submarine Peak of the Enigma. This jellyfish, belonging to the Pro Soda genus, exhibited bizarre behavior, with eerily elongated tentacles and a glowing red and yellow body, suggesting predatory tactics. These findings pose intriguing questions about the mysteries concealed in the ocean's depths, a realm less explored than outer space. As we delve further into the secrets of the Mariana Trench, who knows what fantastical discoveries await us in the future. We'll be here to share them with you. I'll leave two videos as a suggestion here. Would you be able to survive a nuclear attack? Check out the suggested video. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like.